Hi, in this video, we will containerize the Svelkit application with Docker. So let's get started by running npm init svelte at next. Use the period to create a Svelkit application inside the root of the project directory. For the sake of simplicity, we will choose the Svelkit demo app without TypeScript, ESLint, and Prettier. Update the package to JSON file and replace the adapter auto with adapter node. Next, at svelte.config.js file, replace the adapter from auto to node as well. Run npm install to install the npm modules. Run npm run build to build the application. Run node build to run the production version of the Svelkit application. Now open localhost 3000 in the browser. And this is how the applications look like. Let's add containerize and multisage. Okay, now it's time for the Docker part. Let's create a new file called Docker file. Add a Docker image by using the from instruction. And then note the image name, column, tag, or version of the current Docker image. Let's use 16. Initializing the app directory with the work dir instruction. For example, app. Use copy instruction to copy package.json and package.log.json to the work directory. And then use run instruction to install node modules by using npm ci. Note that the reason why we only copy package.json is to take advantage of cache docker layers. Now copy the entire project by using the copy instruction. First period will be the source. The second period will be the destination. Use the run instruction again and then add npm run build. To remove the dev dependency after the build process, we can add npm prune dash dash production. Set env port 5050, expose port 5050, and then use cmd instruction to specify what command to run within the container. In this case, node build. Before we build the container, it is recommended to exclude unnecessary files by using the docker ignore file. Now let's add a new file called .docker ignore. Add .git because this directory is not meant for production. Add .svelkit build and not modules because these directories will be generated inside the container. Docker ignore, git ignore, Docker file and the readme.md file can also be excluded. Now it's time to build the image by running docker build period dusty spellkit column node for the tag name. The build process will take some time depending on the image size and the complexity of the build process. Alright, the container is ready. Let's run the container by running docker run dash d to run in the background. Dash p for port 5050, dash dash name for the container name, let's name it Svelkit app, and use the image of Svelkit column node. Open localhost 5050 from the browser. Now our application is running from the docker container. Let's check the containerize, and go back to the terminal. If we run docker image, we can see the size of the image is very overwhelming for a simple application. To reduce the size of the image, we can change it with a different node image. Let's go to hub.docker.com, search for node, navigate to tags, you can see each image has a different size. The most popular for a smaller image is the alpine tag. And it is the best practice to use fixed version of the image, for example, 16.13.1 alpine 3.14. Let's copy it. Now 
Now build another image by running docker build period testy spell kit. This time the tag name will be alpine. Docker image, now the container size has been reduced by around 19%. Congratulations, but we are not done yet. We can still reduce the size of the container by using a multi-stage build. To do that, add another from instruction with a similar image as the first one. Let's copy it. And then add the work directory with app. And then use the copy instruction to copy the build directory from the first stage by using dash dash from equal zero. Each stage are indicated with the from instruction. So the first from is stage zero. A second from is a stage one. By default, the stages are not named. We can give an alias for each stage. So it will be easier to read in the future. Think of it as a variable in a programming language. Now let's give an alias for the first image with the builder and change the zero with the builder. Copy node modules from the builder as well. And then copy package.json from the project directory. Now move the instruction from env to cmd because the builder stage is only for the build process. Another best practice is we should run the application as non-root user. So let's add user node with a group node. And then change the owner on its copy instruction with dash dash chown equal node colon node. Let's build another image. And this time the tag name will be alpine multi-stage. Run docker image. As you can see, the image size has been reduced again to a smaller size. Rerun the container again by running docker run d p 5050 alpine multi-stage. Okay, we forgot to stop the previous container. Let's remove it by running docker rm f and then svelkit app. We run it again. Open localhost 5050. All right, the application is up and running from the Docker container. Well, I think that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again. Bye bye.